Hello everyone, welcome back to CFT College. I'm Ashkan and in this video we are going to talk about how we can calculate nozzle number in external flow. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you have a flat plate, airfoil, cylinder, or uh, any other external flow. Uh, the method is the same and you can use this approach uh, for your projects. So before starting the video, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe uh, so that you don't miss our future videos. Uh, please give us a thumbs up if you like these videos and uh, share these videos with your friends. So let's jump to the point, how to calculate nozzle number in uh, external flow. Uh, if you have seen my previous videos, we solved uh, flow over a flat plate in both laminar and uh, turbulent uh, flows. And uh, we had a heat transfer, so now we want to calculate the nozzle number. Uh, you know the formula, uh, you can see here in this slide. Nozzle number equals H times L divided by uh, Kf, meaning uh, fluid conductivity. H is uh, convection heat transfer coefficient, and L is the characteristic length. Uh, for example, here, when uh, I want to calculate nozzle number locally, L is X, the length of the uh, plate at each uh, section. So, for example, here I have to calculate uh, nozzle x, which is equal to h x and divided by the uh, conductivity of the fluid. So, uh, we have this, we have the denominator, and for the numerator, we know x because we want to. Uh, Actually, we have the coordinates of the plate, but how we can calculate H? H uh, equals to uh, the heat flux of that wall uh, divided by the temperature difference, and uh, which is temperature of the wall minus a reference temperature. And here we have lots of debates. You know lots of uh, assumptions and that's the reason that you don't get uh, the value uh, in papers or you have some errors uh, in calculating nozzle number in both external or internal flows so here for external flow uh, we can use some uh, you know Reference temperatures. We can assume that it's equal to uh, inlet temperature or the temperature of the flow, uh, incoming flow, which can be uh, seen, which can be stated as uh, the temperature of the flow far from the wall. Uh, we can take the second assumption uh, and make an average of inlet temperature or far field temperature and the temperature of the wall. Uh, it's a bit complicated because uh, you have to uh, do it manually. Uh, the first one can be done uh, using the software. In some cases, you know, it depends. It depends on the boundary condition. For example, uh, in the example that we solved, the temperature of the wall was fixed, so we only need it. We only need to uh, export heat flux, and we have the temperature of the wall, so it's easy to. Uh, and we have the inlet temperature of the flow, and it's easy to calculate this average, and put it in the reference values. Uh, but sometimes, some 
students and researchers use the third assumption and uh, they say that the temperature reference temperature meaning that we have to calculate the bulk temperature of the flow at each section near the wall so these are three assumptions and i can't say which one is right which one is wrong because uh as you know fluid mechanics in fluid mechanics and heat transfer we have lots of assumptions and all of them are true can be true in uh, different situations so uh, to calculate the nozzle number in uh, this example flow over a plate we need to have the heat flux of the wall at each uh, you know section at each point uh, we need to have temperature of the wall and we need to think about reference temperature I wanna take I wanna use the first assumption and we need uh, conductivity of the fluid so now uh, by this explanation let's go and uh, calculate the Nusselt number uh, from our simulation and then we can compare it with the uh, theoretical formula uh, or you know correlations that we have so now let's go to ANSYS workbench open fluent we have to export wall heat flux uh, since the wall temperature is fixed uh, in some cases it might be Reversal, for example, the uh, heat flux is fixed and you need to uh, export the wall temperature. So, you either way, you know how to do that. You should go to here, xy plot. Uh, we need wall flux is fixed, we need heat flux under the wall fluxes. You can see here total surface heat flux. It's right under skin friction coefficient so this is the heat flux and you can export this parameter for any wall this is the uh, desired wall which is plate click write to file click order points and now you can write it so this is turbulent flow and this is let's call it Q. And now, okay, so let me check. Uh, thermal conductivity is 0 0.0242 and CP is, okay. So let me open that file using notepad plus plus copy it and where is our excel file new sheet or this is for turbulent flow so we can work in this one let me delete this so if this is x and this is heat flux so wall temperature t wall which was 500 kelvin and reference temperature uh, we decided to um, take in inlet pressure as the reference temperature or oh, inlet temperature as the reference temperature now we can calculate nozzle number but we need conductivity 0 0.0242 I think that's it now we can calculate nozzle and from fluid so it's equal to um, we should neglect the first point because x is zero and nozzle would be zero so from this one 
it's equal to heat flux x delta t k heat flux times x divided by conductivity times delta t t wall minus t friends which is 200 in this situation in this condition so this is the nozzle number this is cf skin friction coefficient it's from our previous video so if you haven't seen that if you haven't watched that uh please go and watch those videos uh from which were which are about they're about uh the simulation of the flat plate the flow over a flat plate so this is not of number now uh if this is about laminar flow here we have turbulent flow in turbulent flow when we have a wall with uniform surface temperature this is local uh, nozzle number correlation for that and here uh, you have the correlation for the situation in which the heat flux is fixed so you can compare it uh, you can watch my previous video uh, simulate the flow with uh, you know in another condition for example you can uh, have a heat flux of 1000 and then calculate nozzle number and compare your results with this formula with this correlation so it's equal to this constant times Reynolds number times Prandtl number so first we need to calculate the Prandtl number Prandtl number equals mu uh, viscosity uh, Cp over K so Prandtl and it's fixed so I'll put it here um, does it here? Okay, CP is this one. So mu CP over K, which is 0 0.0242. This is Prandtl number. And we need Reynolds number, which is here. So Nusselt number equals. 0 0.0296 times Reynolds number oops, to the power 4 over 5 which is 0 0.8 times Prandtl number times uh, to the power 1 over 3 let's do it here so 1 5 2 7 6 9 to the power 1 over 3 We need another. So I think I might have. Oh, I used velocity. It should be viscosity. Now it's correct. Seventy five. 0 0.75 yeah. and now you can compare these nozzle numbers so if we disregard the first one insert
Now we should add This is this one and X is the same. Now you can see and you can compare our results. So this is for loss of number. And the uh, procedure for laminar flow is the same, so you can calculate Nusselt number in laminar flow. You just need to export uh, heat flux. And as you can see, it's simple, it's not difficult, but uh, many researchers, many students don't know this, and they uh, export Nusselt number from directly from Fluent and without paying attention to the formula to this preference temperature because that's the problem that we have fluent will, can read uh, heat flux uh, nose conductivity x and temperature of the wall but you have to pay attention to reference temperature since it's here This is the reference temperature. Uh, in external flow, uh, it's okay because you can uh, assume reference temperature as the value of the temperature at inlet. If wall temperature is fixed, you can calculate it. But if you want to uh, use wall temperature of the fluid, which is uh, the assumption that we use when we are dealing with internal flow that's something that fluent can cannot uh, calculate directly and that's where we have problems and errors uh, between our uh, results and papers and so on so i think it's fine for this session it's really important so pay attention to these videos to the method that uh, I use to calculate Nusselt number, it's pretty straightforward. It's not difficult. It's super easy, but it needs time. So always take, uh, oh, sorry, always spend enough time uh, to export results, uh, to report your results, because they can be misleading for the others. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video. Please subscribe the channel. Please share the video with your friends. Please like it. That's the only support uh, from your side. And that's it. Uh, take care of yourselves. Until the next video. Uh, see you. And for now, bye-bye.